This week, hundreds gathered in Montgomery. They're trying to remember inmates who died in state custody. This ranges all the way from assaults, suicides, as well as drug overdoses. Now, their message, a prison sentence shouldn't be a death sentence. The I-Team Cynthia Gold examines the crisis inside Alabama's overcrowded and understaffed prisons. Alfaga Smith's 30-year-old son was murdered at Donaldson Correctional. He was violently stabbed to death. The only way we found out about it while in, our inmate texted us. The video posted on Facebook. Amy's brother died of a drug overdose. It wasn't right and I want answers. Answers about the rampant drugs and violence, but she is encouraged by the support of others marching with her. I think this should make an impact to anybody that has a heart. There were 266 in custody deaths last fiscal year, 25 so far in 2023. We see a prison system in free fall. Reform advocates so urge spending more money on mental health and drug treatment and rehabilitation programs. It's not working and we've got to try something new. We would be the safest state of in the country if this tough on crime policy was working. Paroles also grinding to a near halt as violence and overcrowding escalate. I hear the same complaints and I think it'll be dealt with during this next session of the legislature. Uh, that should not happen. The Prison Policy Institute says Alabama locks up a higher percentage of its people than any democracy on earth. We don't want to send people to prison and then have them come out worse. Defense attorney Richard Jaffe says prisons have a constitutional duty to protect inmates. He says testimony in court cases he's worked revealed critical staffing shortages. Just about every inmate has access to or has some type of shank or weapon. The U.S. Department of Justice's federal lawsuit against the state and Department of Corrections reports Alabama inmates are at a, quote, serious risk of death, physical violence, and sexual abuse at the hands of other prisoners. And security staff frequently use excessive force on prisoners. The state's answer appears to be spending billions of dollars on new prisons. A prison in Elmore County will house 4,000 inmates. It's targeted for completion in 2026. A second facility is planned for Escambia County, but critics say that won't fix all the problems. This is not right. Somebody needs to be held accountable for this right here. The Department of Corrections did not answer our interview request. The federal case is set for trial in November of 2024. In the newsroom, Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News.